All right, I'm here showing it off. Uh, just how easy it is to like start modding it. Like I saw a thread on Reddit saying uh, he doesn't like the way the cursors look. And uh, look at this. It's a World of Warcraft cursor. It's actually really easy to change and it's really simple. Let me just pick something easy last hit with. Step lively now, your Admiral is on board. As you can see it changes. It's actually really easy to do this. All you gotta do Prepare is there's just a folder battle. with a bunch of cursors in there. And just switch out the files and you're all done. Level up torrent. Me. Some item. Fair enough. Let's go. Some reason this shopkeeper's hostile. Of course. But hitting A changes it to a sword, just like in WoW. Set my jib. That's uh, what's it? Changes it to a spell one, like an active ability, waiting for you to click. By your compass. Let's move to attack. Cause you're out of range. A new call. Thirty seconds to battle. As you wish. But it's really easy to do. I'll just do a couple last hits and I'll stop the video. So you say. And then I'll show you. Actually, instead of stopping the video, I'll show you how it's I done. I change tax. Set my jib. I'll take that. I change tax. Ha <laughs> I All right, now I'll show you how to actually change the cursors. It's really easy. And the cursors I used were just ripped from WoW, and I actually got this uh, little custom cursor that I'm going to show you a little bit of uh non can. I'm just going to add that in there as the default cursor just so you guys. Can. All right, so all I did is you go to your Steam folder, Steam apps, the common folder, Dota 2 Beta, Dota, Resource, Cursor. This is actually the backups I made of uh, the original cursors. But if you don't back it up, it's okay because you can just verify game ca uh, verify the integrity of the game and it'll just re-download the uh, things. Actually, it does that pretty much every time you start the game. The only way you get these to work is actually setting, to read o uh, setting them to read only. So, uh they don't get overwritten as soon as you start the game. So, I'm going to show you how to do this now. Here I have my Neon Cat cursor. So all I'm going to do is just drag it in there. And I'm going to make this the default cursor. So all I have to do is the default cursor right now is just this. Actually, no. Cursor default. And that, as you can see, I reuse the same cursor over and over again because you really don't need like all that information. Like, maybe for cursor attack illegal that's like if you can't really do that attack on that unit like and wow that would just be grayed out that you can't do it and cannot buy that would just have a little uh what's it called circle with an X through it saying no you can't so I don't have all the cursors but you can just get them do whatever you want you can use any cursor you so all oops all I'm gonna do is just rename this to cursor default team and cursor default. Oh, I need to actually get rid of the uh, first one first. I just drag them in the backup just in case I can't restore it or something. It's always a good idea to make backups. So no, I'm not gonna do that. All right. So.
And that's it. You just start up Dota and there will be your new cursor. Let me just start up Dota. All pick. And there it is, my non-cat cursor. I wouldn't actually recommend just using a random cursor like my this though. Is full. On it. But there you go. That's how you change your cursor in Dota 2 if you don't of like course. it. Of course. Prepare for battle. <laughs>